What was the most head up thing you saw in school? In 6th grade. My math teacher was arrested for having CP on his laptop and watching it during breaks. He had just finished helping me on a math problem when he looked up at me. Smiled. And said I really like that birthmark on your face. It looks like a teardrop it looks really cute when the vice principal walks into the room and asks him to step outside. We have big wind down in our classroom and the front door was wide open. Outside stood the entire administration and two police officers. The vice principal took his laptop. And they left. Never saw that teacher again. The white dove they released for peace day got immediately snatched mid flight by a red tailed hawk. This was in elementary school. Saw a girl stomp on another girl's jaw with her high heel boot for looking at her boyfriend at the next lunch table over. I heard she had to get her jaw wired. A kid in my biology class accidentally stabbed his face with scissors. Then another kid chased him out of the room with a microscope slide to catch a few drops of blood. So he took his blood covered slide and the teacher resignedly let us see the red blood cells still moving around. The stabbed kid was fine. A few stitches and he was good to go. Saw a kid throw a pickleball paddle at a gym teacher. Knocked her unconscious. Blood everywhere. He was suspended for some time. Was an asshole. A guy literally ting on a teacher's desk. A kid hung himself on a playground our senior year. I hear his brother found him. This all happened a week after two of the brother's friends, also seniors, died when they wrapped their classic Mustang around a tree near the HS. Someone hung themselves in the girls locker room. People came in to change. And had to hold her feet up to make sure that she didn't die. It was Ed. My middle school teacher did a thing where we could bring our pets to school. A kid in my class got attacked by a macaw after he tried to grab it off a desk so he could play with it and had to go to the hospital to get stitches. I was suspended and grounded for bringing a macaw to school. When I was 8 we were making cookies in class and they gave us square cheese graters to make chocolate chips with. Because they didn't trust us with knives, a fair judgement. Some kid was holding a few graters and pretended to be a robot. This girl shouted at him because he wasn't a robot and proceeded to take one of the graters and grate his hand. Lots of blood happened and then a pair of twins both fainted. In kindergarten there were two kids in my class that were cousins. They were just kind of dirty. Physically I mean. No real regard for hygiene. Our school was made of concrete blocks so the window sills were deep enough to sit in as a kid. In the bathroom the window was way up high. Like 2 feet from the ceiling. During the allotted class bathroom break. These two cousins would climb up the stall walls. Sit in the super high window sill. And dangle their feet. Then the 16 other boys in our grade would line up like a firing squad and try to on their feet. It was a game. If you hit the lanky one's feet you're doing okay. But if you hit the short one's feet that's really something. The kids getting it on loved it as much as we did. They invented the game. We did this every single day for a whole school year. 16 5 year olds would line up and on the wall. Nobody ever said a word to us about it. It was a rival football game and the stands were packed section of the old wood bleachers collapsed and 20 or so students went to the hospital with numerous broken bones, concussions, and lacerations of various degrees. During the same game, I saw the guy get hit so hard in the leg that it shattered and both bones were showing. Poor kid ended up in a wheelchair for the rest of the school year. I know it has nothing to do with your comment, but it reminded me about a classmate who had his leg broken and had to use a wheelchair. An earthquake happened and he was left all alone in the classroom while everyone else evacuated. Bonus. He once had a gas leak but fortunately everyone returned home safely. Bonus 2. My school also went bankrupt one month ago because the owners had a crippling debt with the bank and didn't pay rent for the building we were using. I was an HS in the 90s. They announced the OJ verdict over the PA system. A girl with bulimia tried to shout down a spiral staircase. But because her gag reflex was so weak she vomited from a great height instead. Oh the splash. 
Emerald Splash. A kid jumped over the balcony to try and beat the rush on mashed potato day. He broke both his legs. Did not get his potatoes. Took me too long to realize mashed potato day is probably just the day your cafeteria serves mashed potatoes. And not some kind of big yearly mashed potato event at your school. These two kids got into fight at my school. Somewhere during the tussle one kid lost his balance and on the way down threw the meanest uppercut ever. He connected on the other kid's bare teeth and pushed them into his gums. He ate up his own hand really bad. A kid clipped the tip of his tongue off with a pair of safety scissors after someone dared him too. Some girl broke up with a guy. So he smeared his on her locker and ate all over it. Nothing that I personally saw at my high school was disturbingly edged up. Just weird. Some kid smuggled in a bunch of onions and clogged all the downstairs toilets with them. Who the hell does that? I had this kid named Colin in my 6th grade class. Always saying the stupidest. Asking stupid questions. Just eyeing off the teacher in general. Well I'll never forget it. It was the Tuesday of our last week of school. Colin was assigned this like 15 page packet for whatever reason. He flipped and started cussing out the teacher. Our teacher at the time. Who was this pretty nice guy turned around and with the meanest look I've ever said pointed at him and said you better clean up your goddamn act or you're gonna end up in prison in a couple years. Colin kicked him. Right in the balls. The teacher pushed Colin so hard that Colin fell into a desk behind him and apparently fractured his scapula. The entire class was dead silent. I'm pretty sure the teacher got fired and Colin never came back to school. Not sure what happened to him. I was in 9th grade. One of our classmates got drunk. Stripped and streaked the lunchroom. Gymnasium. Basically any place crowded. The staff was afraid to tackle a naked teenager so we all got an eyeful. Some dumbass kid stuck a pair of tweezers in an old outlet that didn't even have a circuit breaker so I dk how he didn't die. In my school there was a kid, or multiple kids. We don't know, who would in a urinal every once in a while. They were known as the urinal tur. Someone made a meme with the grim reaper going to the doors template with all the bathrooms they had done it in. And the reaper going into the last bathroom. The office bathroom. The meme spread very quickly and I guess some teachers saw it. Since there is blood in the meme. Coming from under all the closed doors. They decided it was a credible threat of violence. They closed the school for two days for safety concerns. Just a super weird story all around. Someone had taken a massive. It was larger than a coffee cup in width and considerably longer. So large it was impossible to flush. People were lined up into the halls to see this monstrosity. Including faculty. You know it's a small town when when a turd calls that much attention. Edit. Damn this blew up. Thanks for the silver and all the upvotes. On a side note I never knew that such thing as a poop knife existed but thank you dear editors for the laughs. Nobody had a poof knife. There was a girl I was friends with who had developed early and had pretty big boobs and considered thick for a 5th grader. Hanged with a group of 5 or 6 girls. Most of the girls in this group were short. Skinny. And the pretty ones of the class so she stuck out from that group. During recess these 5 girls ganged up on her and pulled down. Sometimes ripping her shirt exposing her chest and laugh cause they thought it was funny. She'd fight it and tell them to stop but they'd do it even more sometimes pinning her arms to the side so they could. She ended up hanging out with me more and finding different friends in middle school. Jesus I'm Christ. This is just straight S all assault. These were her friends and they were pinning her down and pulling her shirt down. Middle school. I was chilling in the band room and I look out to the hall to see a kid with some sort of liquid coming out of his eye. A girl was coming back from a doctor's appointment and wasn't there to hear that we couldn't get out equipment for recess. She opened the door. Grabbed something and went to leave. The wind kicked up and slammed the door on her hand and she lost a finger. They rushed her to the hospital and they sewed it back on and eventually it was back to normal but that was the most head up thing I had seen. 
I had a Scottish teacher and an Irish teacher in 5th grade. And they were great mates. I got along well with both of them as well so I as I was leaving for the weekend I went and told them to have a good weekend. They told me the same. Anyway. When I got to school on the Monday. Neither was there. Which was odd. Then the next day the same story. This went on for about a week. And I was starting to get worried. Then about a week after. We had an assembly. Where we found out that the Scottish teacher was a fugitive. What happened was on the Saturday after I wished them a good weekend. They went out for a party and got drunk. They then went over to Irish teacher's place. Where they got into an argument. Scottish teacher got head and punched Irish teacher. Who had heart problems. In the chest. He promptly died. Scottish teacher left. Got his fiance and fled the country. Presumably back to Scotland. In first grade a boy pulled his pants and underwear to bellow his knees and laid down on his back. Then a girl spat on him. I don't remember why but I will never forget that sight. Two fetishes were born on that day. Didn't actually see it. But the most head up thing that happened in my school was the time a sophomore videoed a special needs kid jerking it off in the bathroom stall from above in the stall next to him. Semicolon. Edit. Didn't expect this thing to blow up. So thanks for that. I think, secondly. Just to clarify a few things. I'm from Alabama. And I'm not saying which high school I came from for privacy reasons and for the fact that this is really one of very few incidents that happened there. It was a pretty good for a public school. All things considering. The dude who recorded it did get into trouble. I want to say he got suspended at least. And that we were all given an assembly not long after about assisting and how why it was illegal. We, entire school, watched some guy jump from 12th floor. Damn. Your school has 12 floors? A couple lying in the dumpster behind the cafeteria. For the rest of the year. People would walk up behind the dude crinkling paper and asking if it was getting him hard. Just to add a bit. Four or five of my friends and I stumbled upon this event while we were coming back on campus and one of them went to throw his trash away. It got around the school pretty damn fast. About a month into my first year of high school two girls got into a fight during lunch. The principal got hold of one of them and was pulling her away. She was trying to break free and during that her tit popped out. The principal tried getting her shirt back on her but ended up grabbing her tit instead. We were in 4th grade and class just let out for a 5 minute break. I was with a group of girls and we walked into the bathroom. On the far wall was a giant ring of painted in the shape of a heart. There was even visible undisguised food in the fesses that, for some reason, is burned into my memory. There was a kind of a witch hunt. The principal called out students in the hallway, one by one, to question the kids. No one confessed as far as I remember. But there was a lot of suspicion surrounding a boy who liked to talk about butts and flatulence. I'm not even sure that he did it. But make too many asshole jokes in class and something like this happens. You are suspect number one. You mean suspect number two? Some kid kept ting in the sink every week and they had to keep cleaning it up. One day I walked in the bathroom and someone had put on the wall. A girl had diarrhea and was wearing tights and sitting in class and the tights started getting really really lumpy but she didn't get up to go to the bathroom. A giant hawk swooped down on campus and sunk its talons into the back of a squirrel foraging for acorns about 20 or 25 yards from me. Scared the bajesses out of me. He stood on it like a boss for a few seconds and then flew off with it. This was at like 7. 30 in the morning so it took me a while to wrap my brain around it. The guy walking in front of me spun around and said. Please tell me you saw that. I saw the pay teacher getting a heart attack during class and dying. It was eyeing scary. There was a ginger vegan that would chew carrots up in his mouth and chase people around. Spitting carrots at them. He ended up getting his head slammed into a bag hook in a fight afterwards. Watched two girls get into a fight. One girl had a bunch of ear piercings and was wearing so many hoops it looked like chainmail. The other girl got her on the ground. 
grabbed those hoops and pulled. Hard. I will never forget the scream. The rings didn't give. But her ear sure as hell did. Blood everywhere. The girl standing over her like a goddamn psychopath holding a very recognizable ear in the air above her head. It was like Mortal Kombat in real life. I worked at an American school in China a while back. One day. One of the school buses was on the way to campus from the city and there was an accident that students saw. A truck ran over a man riding his bicycle. The students on the bus witnessed the accident and watched as the man lay dying on the road. They were stuck in traffic and couldn't get away from the horrific scene for over 20 minutes. Kids were crying and traumatized. Most of them were elementary school students. There was a lot of grief counseling in the months after that. Edit. I had no idea so many people would connect with such an awful event. I'm sorry for all of you who have had to witness similar horrific accidents. In this case. Which happened in Shanghai, SAS, in the late 90s. The man was dead on impact according to what we heard. May he rest in peace. Hope I was able to answer all of your questions. Many years ago I sat next to a kid in high school who went on to kill his mom. He would always bring in photos of homemade bombs from 2 liter bottles. Flammer throwers from squirt guns. Etc. I thought it was the coolest thing and was so impressed by it until later on when I received recognized I was encouraging it to be murderer to keep being violent. The boys in my class bred mold in one of the lockers. They managed to get milk so moldy. Some yellow fluid was all around it. Saw three little dudes try to jump this massive mountain of a guy in the cafeteria. He fended them off pretty good till the teachers who were football coaches managed to break it up. I had a friend that was allergic to so many things he had to eat the same thing every day that he brought from home. I literally mean every day for years. He had a very bad day failed a test some things happened at home. We met up at lunch and he had two slices of pepperoni pizza. He told said today seems like a good day to die and proceeded to wolf down both slices. I had never seen him so happy. I walked him to the nurse's office as he ballooned up. He was hospitalized for two weeks. He never regretted the decision. So ed up on a funny way. Two guys were yelling in the hallway and it was about to come to blows. Guy 1 goes back to swing at guy 2 and proceeds to miss by mile. Into another girl. Girl kicks guy 1 square in the balls. He falls back into another student. And then it dominoes into the crowd that had gathered around. The teacher that was in the way came running up and slipped on something and went into the air and landed straight on his back. I swear it was like something in a movie. No one was really hurt but god that series of events was timed perfectly. A girl got gangbanged and one of the guys was HIV positive. She got it. This was in 1995. Someone's phone blew up in our school courtyard. Rest of the day smelt like battery juice. In high school a guy punched a girl in the face. Slammed her head into the wall. And threw her on the ground. He was big and mean enough that the adults just froze in their tracks. Someone found our choir teacher in a P run hub video. He had to come to school the next day but he couldn't teach class so he was just aimlessly walking around school all day. By that time. Everyone had either seen the video or they knew about it. He eventually got fired. The kid watching PRN hub. I seen a teacher have a literal mental breakdown in front of an entire class. He was an English teacher and was in charge of looking after the kids that other teachers couldn't wouldn't deal with. I guess one day he just snapped. Stood up. Threw a chair at a pupil and started punching holes in walls and screaming in a really psychotic manner. The teacher next door heard the commotion and realized pretty quickly what was happening. She came in and persuaded him to go with her to the staff room or something and we never seen him again. Maybe not the type of ed up you are after but when I was in school I was trying to find a way to tell my parents that I was getting a sorely abused by my uncle. At least in Italy. If you tell a teacher they should at the very least speak to the principal and then report to the police. I thought it was the best way possible to avoid speaking with my parents about it directly but also to free myself a sap. 
I had to get a friend to help me and cried the whole time while explaining. She has two young kids and stared at me in the eyes and said just tell it to your mum and never spoke again. She also denied in trial when they asked. It felt awful. A dude went into the hallway and cut himself with scissors. He had gotten in trouble from a teacher he hated. And sent into the hallway. I was in the classroom. So I didn't see him actually do it. But when he got inside there was blood on his clothes hands. Later talked to the kid. And saw the cuts going from his thumb to his wrist. They didn't seem deep but there were a lot of them. And I had been worried. Edit. I am not in touch with him now. But he didn't appear to harm himself after the incident. He did have some anger problems. Though. I didn't actually witness this. But I was at school for it. A friend of mine had a seizure in the swimming pool during pay. I was on the field when it happened and I saw a bunch of emergency personnel rush the scene. Turned out. It was the first time he was actually allowed to swim in pay. He had a medical history that deterred his family and peers from allowing him in the pool. But it turns out it was a fatal decision. I'm told there was some scuffle on the other end of the pool that distracted most of the students in the class and no one saw him sink below the surface until it was too late. While I didn't personally witness that scene, I am deeply deeply concerned for those that did. Rest in peace John. You are missed. Loved and thought about every day. P. S. I still see that pay teacher every week at my job. She's the sweetest lady and I've never stopped feeling terrible for her. Semicolon. Edit. Ro. I was not expecting this much traffic. Thanks guys. In high school knew a kid who was a legitimate crackhead. Stated arguing with on the security guards one day and ended up punching a security glass window hard enough to crack it. Pretty sure he broke multiple bones in his hand. Also didn't see but heard about a girl in a gangbang in one of the stairwells. No one wanted to use it after the new came out. Somebody's truck caught on fire in the school parking lot and the flames damaged three students cars. In middle school there was this really really weird kid who did some really really weird. The most head up was he went to the girls locker room and pulled down his pants for all the girls to see his. Micro penis. Yeah. Finally. Another middle school story. We had the creepiest social studies teacher coach. Dude was 100% a pedophile. None of the girls in his class would get in trouble at all no matter how bad it was. I've caught him looking at other girls boobs. This dude literally flicked a pencil off one of my friend's desk and said you dropped your pencil and she bent over to pick it up and he was staring right into her cleavage. The worst part is that sometimes. He go up to a girl's desk. Put his leg on the desk. Balls directly across their face. And ask you want a starburst? Not desperately ed up but the best prank played on a teacher I know of was when my younger brother found a giant test tube in the cupboards up the back of the chemistry lab. He farted in it. Sealed it with his hand then walked up to the teacher and asked what experiment had been done in it because it had a funny smell teacher naturally took an inquisitive sniff. Wasn't there but heard about it from friends there. One of the most loved teachers in my school was doing a dance class for a bunch of pupils and they were copying her every movement. He had a stroke and fell to the floor and a bunch of kids did the same thinking it was part of the routine. Pretty tragic cause she later died in hospital.